Hey everybody, it's Adele and April with Just Say Scrap, and we are here with our second Technique Tuesday. So today we are going to be showing you embossing. So we are very excited. We are actually going to be moving upstairs to show you this, so let's go. So what we have started to do, if you can see this, is we have used the Versamark ink and we have stamped it and then my mom has used the embossing powder. We've got this little nifty tray. She's used the gold embossing powder and we have sprinkled it on to what we have inked and then she has used our embossing tool to heat it up and then it becomes shiny like this one. Isn't that cool? So she's going to show us how she does this. So we have inked up the stamp in the Versamark ink. And you want to make sure that when you ink it, you don't press too hard into the ink, otherwise it will go into the indents. But you want it wet enough so that the um, embossing powder will stick to it. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to stamp this impression and it's going to be clear when it's stamped but and when you stamp it you want to make sure that all of the ink has um, gone on to your project and then you want to be very careful because if you smudge the, the stamp when you take it off it will smudge and um, the embossing powder will stick to that smudge so I know it's hard to see but what we're going to do now Sorry about the lighting too. Just that happens to be the wrong time of day for us. Yes. I'm gonna take our gold powder and you just put some on and then you take it. Perfect. And there it is. Our embossing powders come in the princess gold, silver, white, and clear. Okay, when you emboss, you want your tool about six inches away from your object and you want to do the embossing in a back and forth motion when the embossing ink heats up uh, you will see a change in it so it will get glossier and shiny and you want to make sure that the entire project that you're embossing is shiny also my mom has a tweezer here. Make sure you use that because it does get very hot and you can burn your fingers. Yes. I'm showing you that it now has that shimmer to it. And with the ornaments that we embossed, we made these cute little Christmas cards with them. And that is our second Technique Tuesday. So before we leave, we just wanted to tell you a few more tips about embossing. Yes, when you're using the craft heater, make sure that you never put it down when it's on because it is very hot and it will burn anything that's around it. Don't touch the tip and don't let children near it. Just be very safe with it. Also, when you are embossing, our White Daisy cardstock is very thick, but if you are using any other kind of cardstock or paper, make sure that you do use that back and forth motion that we were talking about. Sometimes it can warp the paper. If you hold it on one spot, it might leave a burn mark or even set the paper on fire. So you don't want that happening. But uh, yeah, I think, I think other than that, we are set with mm -hmm. our embossing. So. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again next Tuesday. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them below, and we'll get back to you when we can. Bye. Here is another Technique Tuesday. We just want to give you some quick more... More quick? Quick more? <laughs> and that is our embossing technique. We are just going... <laughs> <laughs> we kick her out. <laughs> that uh, you've got it covered. Whatever. 